Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and on January 25th I did a live stream of the mining performance of the RX 5600 XT. Now I got mine from Sapphire. It's a Sapphire Pulse and kind of instead of letting you go through a two hour stream, I did have a great time with the guys. The community showed up. I really appreciate them. Uh, I was during my testing, testing out the uh, performance not only from the wall but as well using the watt meter as you can see in the upper right hand corner talking about certain things I tried, certain stuff. So this is kind of a summary video of the mining performance. And uh, Dizzy Mining, um, who I have not been acquainted with yet, uh, was one of the first to come out and show that the hash rate of the 5600 XT was hitting around 42.5 mega hash. Unfortunately, with my model, I was not able to hit that. And you can actually see my, my video. It's two hours and 26 minutes. Uh, Bits be tripping has been showing us some of his performance as well. He's got the power color card, and that guy is pushing 43.2 mega hash at 85 watts so far with the RX uh, 5600 XT. I think he actually got it down to around 80 watts uh, and 43 mega hash. So he's he's getting the he's fine tuning, getting the efficiency. I'm not 100% sure if he's done a live stream yet on it, but I do have my results and I do have it posted uh, at, on the Reddit thread. I always do a Reddit thread and whenever there's a new GPU, I did it with the 2080, RTX 2080, I did it with the RX um, 5700, I did it with the 1660 Ti. Anytime I get a GPU or have the availability to get a GPU, I will always create a Reddit thread and then link to it. But I usually do a summary video, so this is that video. In summary, the RX 5600 XT is a decent card, but the catch is for the price is it relevant in the mining space? There's a reason why I say that, but first let's go through the numbers. So with Claymore, uh, stock I was getting around 37.7 .7 mega hash, uh, pulling around 120, 25 watts uh, thereabouts. Uh, and then with some minor tuning and voltage drop, we were able to get 40.4 .4 mega hash uh, and V-Core set at 800. Now you could go a little bit lower using the overdriven tool rather than MSI Afterburner or any other GPU overclocking tool, but Phoenix Miner seemed to produce the, my best results. 40.6 uh, mega hash at roughly, and I saw last night, because I, let it, I have been letting it run on Ethereum Classic, 88 watts, I wanna say, or 85 watts, uh, 4.6 mega hash is what I was able to get LOL miner allows us to mine Grin, and the best setting that I that I was able to find uh, was you know 4.06 graphs uh, at 89 watts or around 90 92.95. Um, XMR stack mining Ryo, uh, it was able to get the best. The unroll was unroll one was actually the best, and I think Ryo actually hit me up. He did. Um, so intensity. 864 down here at the bottom, unroll eight, and then two threads. And I've been running it on two threads. I even tried it on one. But unroll one with two threads, uh, I was able to get 1654.3 hashes. And excuse me, the nine the six, 1620 was the best one because it, it's all about the power draw. So we got the power draw down to around 130, maybe 135 watts. Still fine tuning and everything, but if you if you start to look at the numbers, it's to me it's 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 a lesser RX 5700, but you can't unlock it. And what I mean by you can't unlock it is yes, Igor came out with the new uh, the more power tool, uh, which allows you to edit the settings. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and show you that real quick. So if I go to more power tool, you always want to launch it in Administrator, um, new look or or, or icon. Yes, I'm able to, to edit these values and stuff like that, but the problem is, is if I edit these values, what's gonna happen is, is the GPU is gonna be locked at 300 megahertz core. And uh, AMD's got a software lock on it to where when you try to bypass it, whether it's the soft power play tables or more power tool, it's not going to perform as it should. So that's kind of mixed. And the reason they're doing that is because they don't want to, you know, cut the head of the RX 5700. They want the RX 5700 to be still be relevant. As far as gaming, uh, the RX 5600 XT and the 5700 are, are like this. Uh, the you know the 56 because it's the lack of memory and um, the memory bus 
you know, 192 bit is is it's the little brother, but it it can perform quite well at 1080p and, and 1440p. And as you can see from the mining uh, performance, it's a little bit underneath of it, even with the the latest V BIOS that you could get with Conceal. Uh, I believe the best one that I I hit was 1930 hashes at around 94 uh, to 98 watts. Uh, Haven, uh, I believe the best one was 11 uh, 1172 hashes at around 81 85 watts. And then BitTube, I believe the best one was. 1086 at around 82 watts so there is I do have a link to the full live stream if you do want to check it out but most of this testing I had to do in the background because some it was giving me issues we know AMD is still optimizing drivers these drivers are are still a little bit jacked up they're, they're working out the, and fine to can fine tuning the tweaks but the biggest problem is that when you do try to mine on these new cards not all of them will work uh, for example wild rig miner if I wanted to you know mine MTP or anything like that watch what happens not fully supported not fully optimized and it won't do anything and then sometimes you don't even get that watch what happens when we try to mine let's see here let's just pick a random algo it's gonna say it failed to start open CL threads so these miners and the devs are, you know, when when these cars first came out, they had to fiddle with their their programs in order to allow us to utilize these RX 5000 series cards. And slowly but surely, more miners have optimized or made updates that allow us to do that. But not every algo is supported at this very moment, which which requires us to have continued patience. I'm not sure every algo may be supported because the way the architecture. Uh, that AMD has implemented and how it impacts the miners and OpenCL and all that good stuff. I'm not a dev expert, but as long as the basics are covered, and the basics are with this card, as far as mining performance, it's going to be Ethereum primarily with a little bit of Kryptonite and various hash, um, various algos out there. So as long as Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, which does it the strongest that these cards perform at, uh, yes, you can use, uh, use it to mine Grin. Um, as I mentioned before, so LOL Miner, uh, if you leave it stock, you're basically going to get uh, 40, yeah, 4.03 graphs. And with the Haven protocol or BitTube or Conceal or anything like that, uh, there's your numbers. I will have this Reddit linked or, or thread linked in the comments below. Uh, definitely check it out. I will keep updating it but I'm probably gonna switch this card to a rig of its own and put the RX 5700 50, back in my main system uh, for you know future revisions or updates so this thread will be updated let me know in the comments below this thread and as well as the comments below this video what you're getting if you do have the RX 5600 XT or if there's any type of command line parameters uh, or tools that you would like me to test out with this GPU. I'm, I'm open to that as well. And when I have the availability or the time throughout my, my you know, normal life as a family man and father and, and full-time worker, I will take the time to do whatever you ask me to test or try out. Obviously within reason. Obviously within reason. But anyways, guys, this is just a summary video of the performance I got. Uh, I believe Bitsby Trippin may be doing a live stream if he hasn't done already, so make sure you check him out. Uh, as well, uh, Red Panda Mining uh, did his predictions as well. I wonder her. I haven't checked that video out, but I wonder how close he was to uh, the overall performance that we're getting now. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment—all the good stuff that helps out this channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.